Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a string to an integer in Java. Now, this is a pretty common function that you're going to need to do probably on a regular basis if you're reading data in from text files and want to convert numerical data into actual numbers. So string to int is a pretty normal thing. So um, I just set up a class here called string to int and we have a main function in it. I assigned this 222 which you can see it's in uh, quotation marks. So that's actually a string. And of course the data type here is string. And I also set up an int called i. So the easiest way to do this is using the integer.parseInt method. This is built into the integer class. Integer, as you know, in Java is an object. Int is a built-in uh, native data type. So there's an int and there's an integer, and they function pretty much the same. In this case, parse int is going to return um, s in the form of an int, not an integer. And then we'll add 1 to it as we print it out. So we should be able to print out 223 when we run this. And we see it printed 223. Let's look at another way to do that. If that was an int, we'll set up another variable called integer. And then we can use integer.valueof to convert s to an integer. And we'll add 2 to that. And it should print out 223 for this one and 224 for the integer. So yeah, it printed out 223 for the int and then 224 is the integer. Um, now there's one more important thing. We've looked at ways to do it, but not to do it safely. Either one of these could throw an exception if you have something other than a numerical formatted number in here. So if we either have a number that's too long, let's say, more digits than an int or an integer can handle, uh, which is 2 to the 32 um, binary, or if we have a decimal point or some, some letters in there, that would screw it up and it would throw an exception. So the best way to do this, best practice here, is to put this inside of a try-catch block uh, you simply use exactly the same command, uh, integer.valueof, or you could also use integer.parseInt, uh, inside of a try-catch block. And then inside the, the catch block, it's going to throw possibly a number format exception, which we'll catch. And, and in that case, we'll return uh, a zero. We'll assign integer a zero instead of, I mean, you can do whatever you want here to handle this exception, but it's important that you try and catch the exception uh, you may get exceptions when you're reading in data from a text file. So this will keep your program running. That's the best way to do it. And then we'll print that out, and if we add 3 to it, it should print out 225 for this final test here. So I'm going to save that. We'll compile it and run it again. And we see we've got 223, 224, and 225. So that is, in a nutshell, how to convert string to an int and how to do it safely. I recommend using, as a best practice, use the try-catch block. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.